Thank you, Chairwoman DeLauro and Ranking Member Granger for the opportunity to participate in the hearing today. Uh, federal spending is a statement of our nation's priorities, and I appreciate this opportunity to highlight investments that will benefit Colorado's sixth district uh, in the nation as a whole. In particular, I'd like to highlight requests that seek to improve health equity and access to care. Uh, for far too long, communities of color and low-income communities have experienced the negative impacts of health care inequality. Uh, they experience higher rates of disease, disability, and even death, and were disproportionately impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. To build back better, we must address the systematic inequalities in our health care system. So first, uh, my, my first request uh, for nearly $500,000 for the Black Health Initiative Infant, Infant Prematurity and Infant Mortality Project at Children's Hospital Colorado. The Black, uh, Black Health Initiative Project aims to combat the maternal and infant mortality racial disparities in Colorado by investing in peer-to-peer -peer support for Black moms and simulated scenario training, which is crucial to identify gaps in provider knowledge and care. By supporting mothers and training providers, we can co combat national trends and improve outcomes for Black mothers and babies. Second, I am requesting nearly $1 million for the underrepresented minority pipeline for health professions at the University of Colorado Anschutz Medical Campus. Nationally and in Colorado, our healthcare providers do not reflect the populations they serve. According to the American Association of Medical Colleges, only 2.6% of physicians nationwide are Black, and only 3.8% are Hispanic. This funding would help CU Anschutz scale up its collaboration with local communities in Aurora and Denver to help underrepresented minority students pursue health and science professions. As we emerge from the pandemic and continue efforts to tackle the opioid epidemic, it's important that Congress continue to eliminate barriers to care for individuals struggling with substance abuse and mental health issues. Uh, so I am requesting $1 million to support planning and design costs for a new health campus for the Aurora Comprehensive Community Mental Health Center. The health campus model will enable clients to access mental health, detox services, primary care, and oral health services at a single location, eliminating barriers to care. Research has shown that we can help stop community violence in the revolving door of violent injuries in emergency departments through hospital violence intervention programs. These programs connect emergency room patients with hospital and community-based resources aimed at addressing an individual's underlying risk factors for violence. I'm requesting nearly $500,000 to expand the at-risk intervention and mentoring program operated by UC Health in Colorado. So with this funding, UC Health will be able to continue and expand its pilot program to reduce community violence and improve individual outcomes in the greater Aurora community. In addition to these requests that address health equity and access to care, I'd also like to highlight my additional community project funding requests, including $750,000 for the 211 program to upgrade the call system connecting Colorado, Coloradans, 8,000 local service providers. I'm requesting $948,000 for the purchase of an immune monitoring station to enhance the Cernoc Institute's research into Down syndrome uh, at the University of Colorado uh, uh, Anschutz Medical Campus. I'm requesting $948,000 for the purchase of uh, 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 covered that one already. Uh, requesting $1 million for the Douglas County Generational Opportunities to receive long-term success program to construct more housing for housing and secure families. Uh, requesting $1,350,000 for the City of Aurora Safe Outdoor Spaces Project. And I'm also requesting $1,700,000 for the Village Exchange Center to expand services by renovating its facilities. Uh, and then finally, requesting $2 million to create a domestic violence high-risk team in Adams County, Colorado, to improve services for domestic violence victims. All of these projects will directly benefit some of the most marginalized communities in Colorado's sixth congressional district and promise systematic improvements that will strengthen not just our community, but countless others across the country. So I urge the community support, uh, and I look forward to working closely with all of you to ensure these projects are included in the annual appropriations bill. Again, thank you for the opportunity to testify uh, and Madam Chair, I yield back.